It's become the number one complaint from people who live in unincorporated Sacramento County. CBS 13's Tony Lopez shows us what that is and more as we get answers in Carmichael. Hop in and let's go on a Getting Answers Road Tour. Like moths to a flame, our recent dry spell has sent drivers to the car wash big time. And it sent us to one of the busiest ones in the heart of Sacramento County, Dirt Busters in Carmichael, where some really nice people had some really good questions. I want to know why Marinello's had to close down. She's talking about Marinello's School of Beauty on Garfield Avenue. Earlier this month, the Department of Education announced it'll no longer send them federal student loan and grant money denying recertification, alleging the school fabricated high school diplomas, failed to provide proper job training, and disregarded students' financial needs. It's bad news for the beauty school students for sure, but also people like Carol, who went to the college to get her hair done at a super low cost. Well, to do my hair, it was about $20, 20 to $30 to have my hair co colored, and to have it done in a shop is $100. Yeah. So what are you going to do now? No need to shrug because here are some options to the question, which other local beauty schools offer low-cost services? Well, take your pick. There's Cosmo Beauty Academy on Fulton Avenue, Frederico Beauty Institute that's on Sports Drive, and Paul Mitchell School on Arden Way. Now to a problem that comes our way on nearly every one of our road tours. A lot of homeless people. Cindy is seeing more because there are more homeless in places like Carmichael. In fact, the Sacramento County Sheriff's Department tells us it's become the number one complaint from people who live in bedroom communities within Sacramento County. So how is the Sac County Sheriff's Department tackling the homeless problem? There are two full-time deputies and one assistant assigned to the transient enforcement detail, and it's paying off. Deputy Paul Pace tells me they've seen, quote, a marked improvement in the number of people willing to move to transitional housing. Now let's transition to our last stop, which happens to be a bus stop on Madison Avenue. But wait, what's that sign say? There are no bus stops no, at all? There's not, not bus enough. stops, but they don't come on this street. Say that again? There are bus stops, but no buses. Yeah, yeah. To wipe that puzzled look off our faces and to get Judy here some answers, after all, she has to walk a few blocks now to catch a bus. We turn to Sacramento Rapid Transit officials who tell us when they cut back on routes in 2010, this one on Madison was discontinued. The bus stop pole and sign are still here, we're told. In the event that service would be restored, the bus stop would be activated again without the need to reinstall the pole and sign. No need to worry about us discontinuing our route. We're washed and ready to hit our next Getting Answers Road Stop. And you can look for another road tour next Friday right here at 10 o'clock. Well, how about